So I decided that Beyonce's Renaissance tour tickets should cost a lot more than they actually do right now. And here's why. Hey, what's going on? This is Mali Vody with Financially Present, your one-stop shop for financial and investment education. And we're gonna break this down because I couldn't wrap my mind around the fact that nosebleed seats cost about $600 and the best seats in the house could cost up to about $8,000. But then I sat down and thought about it and it hit me like a ton of bricks. If stocks don't have a ceiling price, why can't tickets to see the world's biggest cultural icon not have a ceiling price? Let's break it down. Let's take into account Beyonce's scarcity. There's only one of her. Uh, her status as an icon on this world and the fact that she lives a, a relatively private life. These tickets should sell for top dollar, basically. Now hear me out. Beyonce's Renaissance tour tickets were just released, or at least the tour dates were released on February 1st, and shortly after they decided they needed eight more additional dates. Okay, this goes to show you how powerful this really is. One thing you gotta understand about this tour, it is a worldwide tour, essentially North America and Europe, but there are other places in the world where she's uh, planning on being, and she's selling out entire football stadiums. So we're talking the home team and the away team. And when we consider the price of something, price is relative. Price only matters when you compare it against what you're paying for, okay, or amongst other things. And we can break that down. Now put on your investment cap when we consider these tickets. Beyonce is in a stock market of her own, a league of her own, essentially. She has rebranded herself many, many times over the course of her 26 year career. We've seen her go from Destiny's Child to Dangerously in Love to Sasha Fierce to a married mother of three and she is still a powerhouse as far as popular culture is concerned. You also have to remember that there's scarcity involved. There's only one Beyonce, obviously. She does not go on tour very often. The last worldwide tour was in 2016 and she lives a relatively private life outside of these tours or other appearances. She's very private. Okay, so you know Michael Jackson. He was popular or a celebrity for 45 years of his life. So basically starting from the age of five, he was popular. He was famous, he was, he is known as the most decorated artist of all time with over 800 awards. The next in line has only been active for 26 years and her name is Beyonce. She has over 600 awards. And to have someone like that readily alive and well and thriving and being able to see them knowing their cultural influence, their musical influence, and their notoriety, essentially on every corner of the earth, it, it reminds you that there is high value in these tickets and the prices sometimes will reflect that. In fact, you may see them go higher. The more I think about it, I can see why there isn't really a ceiling for how high a ticket price can go. She is the most decorated female artist or decorated artist of all time at this point. And when we think of stocks like Berkshire Hathaway, priced at 470,000 per share, or Seaboard, priced at over $3,000 a share, or even AutoZone, priced at over $2,000 a share, these stocks don't have any price ceilings on them. Look, prices aren't always logical, okay? This is why a stock, the price of a stock can perform so far outside the performance of the actual company. And in that same vein, this is why the price of a ticket for a concert that only lasts a few hours can be marked at a price so high. And in fact, it can go much higher depending on demand. Let's put it this way. Beyonce was popular before Facebook, before YouTube, before there was AI or cryptocurrency. You can't buy her. So buying a ticket to one of her events is the closest you can actually get to her. Look, there isn't a maximum price for a stock and there technically isn't a maximum price to meet or see Beyonce perform. If you think long enough, you look at all of the different details and aspects, you'll figure it out. Look, I'm not saying that the price of the tickets are correct, but I'm not saying that the price is wrong either. 
Just remember, we're living in a world where a cryptocurrency named Bitcoin traded for as high as $60,000. Okay, and it's a completely made up or abstract concept. So the next time you think about stocks or think about something that may seem overpriced or something that seems very, very expensive, I want you to think about Beyonce's tickets and how the stock market kind of mirrors that a little bit. If you like this video, I want you to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the page, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, stay present.